If you want your life to produce maximum glory for God, get out of your will and say, Father, what would you? That's what that's what makes prayer so important. I don't know why people don't pray. That's why we're so tired, because we don't pray. We don't slow down and say, Lord, what is your will? What do you desire? We're so stressed out because we don't pray. Rest. Say this with me. Lord, Lord. I thank you you. for glorious Glorious. rest. Okay, so what is glorious rest? Rest is a state of being. Glorious rest is a state of being that that, that requires little activity from you and much activity from God and leads to glory for him. There's more glory to be had in us resting and waiting on the Lord for what to do than all of our activity in the world combined. Amen? All right. So there is an invitation in Matthew 11, 28. Jesus says that all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, come to him and he will give us rest. So did you know that waking up at 3 a.m., Uh, you think that when God wakes you up at the Holy Spirit wakes you up at 3 a.m. and you sleep through it, you think that you're going to get more rest by ignoring the Lord. And I'm trying to tell you what he was waking you up for. Listen closely. What he was waking you up for was to deposit some glorious rest in your in the midst of your situation. He wants to speak to you. He wants to give you revelation about what to do. He wants to tell you to stop worrying. He wants to give you a plan. He wants to give you a strategy. He wants to give you revelation. But we sleep through it because we treasure the rest of the flesh more than the rest of the spirit. That's good teaching. You know why? Because it's not mine. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 1. God's promise of entering his rest still stands. So we ought to tremble with fear that some of you might fail to experience it. For this is good news. Say good news. news. For this good news that God has prepared this rest has been announced to us just as it was to them. But it did them no good because they didn't share the faith of those who listened to God. So it's possible that this good news I'm telling you tonight, this good news about rest I'm telling you, you could totally miss it if you don't mingle it with faith. If you don't receive it and say, okay, this is the word of God. This is true. I'm going to have this glorious rest that's being preached about tonight. Don't miss out. Okay? So here we go. But it did them no good because they didn't share the faith of those who listened to God. Rest comes from God. For only we who believe, walk by faith, can enter his rest. As for the others, God said, in my anger, I took an oath. They will never enter my place of rest. Even though this rest has been ready since he made the world, we know it is ready because of the place in the scriptures where it mentions the seventh day. Now, we know that the number seven is the number of completion and perfection, and he is the one that can give us perfect rest. But it has to come by faith because the word of God says that um, it is impossible to please him without faith. So natural rest comes from sleeping. Spiritual rest comes from faith. Okay. Because your natural self will say, I got to get busy. I got to do something about this problem. You're anxious. You're always thinking about it. Okay? But spiritual rest or faith leads to spiritual rest because faith says, look, I'm going to bed. God's got this thing. I'm not going to worry about it. I can't fix it. It's bigger than me. It must be his. I'm casting this care by faith, and I'm going to sleep. That and not NyQuil is what's supposed to get you to sleep at night. Not your mind, you know, you don't gotta count sheep, okay? There's just one sheep you need to look at. One shepherd, rather. Don't count sheep, look at the shepherd. And say, Lord, I receive the rest that you promised. Here I am, I present myself to you, I cast, see, just obey the word. I cast all my cares to you, okay? And now, 
You said if I'm, if I'm heavy laden, that you will give me rest if I come to you. So, Lord, here I am. And I'm not talking about just sleep. I'm talking about, say this with me. Say this word with me. Peace. Peace. That is a byproduct of, of glorious rest. I've got peace. Isn't peace sweet? Even in the midst of kidney failure or congestive heart failure or foreclosure or not enough food in the cabinet. Glorious peace. Even in the midst of the storm. They woke Jesus up. Don't you care that we perish? And he says what? Oh, ye of little faith. And he goes to the front of the ship and he speaks to, he says, peace be still. And they marveled at him saying, what manner of man is this that he can speak to the wind and the waves and they obey? That's your God too. Why are you losing sleep? He can speak to the storm in your life and give you peace. But it will only enter by faith. 